This is a completely free snippet of my Sliver C2 course, and this video is sponsored by Sneak. Before we dive into the video on why you should use Sliver C2, let's talk about something that's dominating every conversation in the security space, and that is the use of AI. AI is changing the game, but it's also changing the way that we do defense. Now, AI can be a force multiplier, but as a pen tester day in and day out, I can also tell you it's a vulnerability multiplier when it's not integrated correctly in the software development lifecycle. Well, my friends over at Sneak are hosting a completely free global community summit focused entirely on AI security called DevSecCon 2025. The speaker lineup is absolutely amazing. With many of the top voices and top names, both engineers as well as thought leaders in the AI space all contributing to this event. They're even hosting an exclusive AI security developers challenge to let you get hands on with AI security. So hey, whether you're a pen tester, a developer, or you just use AI regularly, which if you're watching this video, you likely fall into that category, be sure to register. This event is happening on October 22nd, and once again, it is completely free. I'll see you there, the link is in the description, and a huge thank you to Sneak for making this video for my course available for everyone. With all the different C2 frameworks available today, why did I decide to make an entire course in hands-on labs about Sliver C2? Well, I wanna give you four reasons that I think Sliver C2 is one of the best C2s that you can learn and use in either a pen test or a real red team operation. And as usual, I have one of my beautiful slideshows to walk you through this. And I encourage you to take notes as we go through this. But point number one of why Sliver C2 is it just has superior evasion. And the purpose of a red team engagement is often you need to evade antivirus, EDR, the blue team, and Sliver C2 has incredible evasion built right into it for a few different reasons. Number one, it has dynamic compilation. I mentioned this in the previous video, but what that means is each silver implant is a brand new binary from scratch. Every payload is unique and therefore a different file hash, which is a direct counter to signature-based detection. It's just not gonna work or not work as well on Sliver C2 implants. A second reason it has superior evasion is it's written in the Go language. Unlike C Sharp or Python, which often rely on well-known interpreters or runtimes, a Go binary is self-contained. It avoids the use of reflected loaders or .NET assemblies. Number three has built-in OPSEC features. It does API unhooking and direct syscalls. If that doesn't mean anything to you right now, that is okay. We'll talk more about it later on in the course, but suffice it to say, when it comes to EDR evasion, AV evasion, and just evading the blue team and evading socks, Sliver C2 is an excellent choice. Number two, the second reason I think Sliver C2 is awesome is it's cross-platform and incredibly flexible. There is no need to switch frameworks for different operating systems. If you're on a red team engagement or a pen test and you're targeting a Linux machine or a Windows machine or a Mac OS machine, you don't have to change servers. One single Sliver C2 server will work for Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. You also have the ability to switch between MTLS, HTTPS, DNS, and even WireGuard for the network communication from the Sliver server to the client. Now, once again, if those four things sounded like a foreign language to you, I have an entire module. We're gonna break down each one of those, why it matters and when you should use them. But also with the flexibility, you'll have access to the Armory. And I'm super excited to introduce you to Sliver's Armory. But Armory is Sliver's package manager. It allows you to install a bunch of modules and tools. You can even make your own modules and tools and add them into your Sliver C2 server for any type of future engagement. And then three, cost and community. Sliver C2 is completely free. It is fully open source and it has an amazing community continually adding features and value to it. So if you wanna be part of the open source community, you can. As you work with Sliver, you might notice, hey, here's a module that I think should be here. 
You can do it yourself. You can open a pull request. You can add it to Sliver. You can become a contributor to the Sliver C2 framework. And then, hey, I, I'm just going to add this again. The fourth reason of why Sliver C2 is it has a really cool and really affordable course. And you are awesome because you signed up for that course. One of the reasons I wanted to make this is when you look online for how to use Sliver C2, there's a few good blogs, there's a few good guides, but honestly, you have to jump from resource to resource. I want this course to be very comprehensive, that you can go into this course knowing very little about Sliver C2, and by the end of the course, you are comfortable and you could do a red team engagement using Sliver. So those are the four reasons for why Sliver C2, superior evasion, cross-platform and flexibility, the cost and community, and of course, you have this course to help you along the way.